Hello, this is Amanda and Janet from Servants for His Glory 44. And we come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. This is an intercession deliverance video for those that are struggling with heaviness, those that feel like throwing in the towel, those that are just going through a hard time. And Sister Amanda is going to go ahead and get started. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we just, we give you thanks that your word says, Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Come to me, and I will refresh your life. I am your oasis. Join your life with me. Take my yoke upon you, and you'll discover my ways are gentle, humble, and, e and I'm easy to please. You'll find refreshment, refreshment and rest in me, for all that I require of you will be pleased will be pleasant and easy to bear so father we thank you that we can come to you lord that we can receive rest in your presence father god we thank you that we can break through any oppression we can break through the spirit of heaviness father by coming to you in your presence and putting our eyes and focusing on you and giving you praise Father, we can worship you and praise you through the storm. Lord, we know that you're in the boat with us in the middle of the storm. You never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, God, because we know that you are getting us to where we need to be. Father God, I just come against any spirit of oppression that will cause your people right now to, um, to be lukewarm. Any spirit of oppression that would, um, any heaviness that will stop them from wanting to worship, that will stop them from wanting to come and get in your presence. I just break the power of that right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray that you would um, loose a fresh fire upon your people right now that are heavy and, and feeling weary and tired and oppressed, Father God. Father, I pray that you would give them fresh fire right now. Release your fire even now and touch them, Father God. Father, I pray for the for the oil of gladness to come upon them. Father God, I pray that they will be able to let go, let go and give to you that heavy, that heaviness, Father God, because Sometimes we take on more than really what you're expecting of us, Father God. Your your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So, Father God, we know that your grace is sufficient for what you're calling us to. And so the rest of it and the heaviness, Father, and the things that we have no control over, the things that... Um, that we just can't prevent father we lose that and we give it to you right now father we lay it at the feet of jesus right now we say take this from us father you are able you are more than able to carry the heavy weight and the burden that is upon us father lift that from your people right now let them be light as a feather right now father god let them enjoy um Every, let them enjoy the place that you have them at right now. Let them find rest and joy in you, Lord. Father, we just give you glory. I give you praise and I give you honor, Father. And I ask that you touch your people right now. Touch them, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Heavenly Father, we just thank you. Yes. We thank you that you are near to those mm -hmm. that are hurting. You don't turn away from us. You save such as be of a contrite and broken spirit. Mm -hmm. Father, as Sister Amanda said, we can't always control the things that occur in life. Sometimes we can be thrown in a pit. Sometimes circumstances can arise that can be very difficult. But I thank you that you are in the midst of all circumstances with us. Yes. That you've seen our beginning to our end. And that you call it good. Your promise in Psalms 23 verse 6 is that your goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. Yes. But we recognize that we do encounter different seasons. Seasons of the valley, seasons of the mountaintop. And so your word says for us to weep with those that weep. To rejoice with those that are rejoicing. And we come to stand alongside those that are struggling right now. Those that feel like throwing in the towel. Those that are just having a tough time making it through. And we stand with them. We stand with our brothers and sisters right now. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you would pray for what they have need of. You know 
Father, you know their unique circumstances. You know what we have need of. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray that as Sister Amanda said, a lightness will come forth and sweep through the listener's mind, heart, their soul. To every raging wind and storm, we say peace, be still. Peace over the mind. Peace over the heart. Peace within the soul. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray that the listener will experience a new depth of peace. Sometimes we just need a moment to catch our breath. Sometimes we just need a moment to sit and rest in the presence of Almighty God. Sometimes it's just a moment that we need when we're having an off day, when frustrations seem to arise. Father, we thank you that you are the God of the moment. You are the God of the midnight hour. You come in. You know what we need at any given point. So, Father, we beg, we plead for your intervening hand. You know what we have need of. You know what the listener has need of today that will just take them from where they are in this moment where they may be feeling a crushing, where they may be feeling a, a breaking, And that you would just revive them in the ways that they have need of. Father, in, in this hour, in this season, I believe that you are strengthening your people. You are taking them from strength to strength. From glory to glory, from faith to faith. And sometimes that isn't easy. Whenever we are growing, it's it's not always comfortable. It's not always conducive to joy. But I thank you that your joy is made available. Yes. As we continue to press in, as we continue to cleave onto you. Help us to experience. You said sorrow endureth for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And so I ask that you would just bring forth a new new depth of intimacy. And within that place, that joy will come forth. That it will be a fruit that is produced throughout the struggle, throughout the waiting There's nothing impossible with you. So we thank you, Father. We Mm. thank you, Father. Mm. Hallelujah. I also, I just feel like the Lord is saying right now, be still. Be still and know that I am God. It's okay to stop and to rest and to put everything aside and just be still. And wait upon the Lord. And as you wait, he is renewing your strength. And I want to remind everybody out there that the Lord has good thoughts for you. He has a plan to prosper you and not to harm you. He has good thoughts. And his thoughts are words that are spoken over your life, spoken over you. His thoughts of you are as good as gold. So you can rest and be assured that there is good times there's good things coming ahead for you so you must keep standing you must keep believing you must keep uh, persevering hallelujah in jesus name yes father yes father i stand with sister amanda i also father i just pray over the listeners identity in you help them father help them to to root their identity in you to see themselves as your word speaks over them. Yes. I ask, Father, if there's anything, if there's anything that is competing, if there's anything from the past that would hinder their ability to see themselves as you see them, 
I ask that you would help them to overcome. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray for this. Father, I recognize... I recognize that for the new wine to come forth, there is a process. And you desire to bring something new. Yes, Father, you bring beauty from ashes and the oil of joy from mourning. And so whatever, Father, whatever the listener is experiencing, whatever circumstance... I just ask, Father, that you will help them to be able to, to view it in the right light, from the right uh, mindset and a heart posture. As Sister Amanda says, that your plans for them are good. Even when we cannot see what you're up to, Father, even when it seems as if you are far away, you are not far away. You are near to us. You never leave us. You never forsake us. And so I just ask that you would give them that reminder. Revive them. Strengthen them. Give them a courageous spirit to cleave and to cling to the promises that you have set forth in your word. Things that have been spoken over them. Help them not to let go of those promises. But to know, Father, that all things are in your timing. Yes. And so we just cleave, we cling onto what the promises that you have given us, the hope, the love, yes. yeah. your tender mercies that are continually available. Father, those that are mourning the loss of loved ones, those that are, are mourning the loss of um, jobs or career, opportunity, whatever it is that they're presently going f- through, I just ask for a strengthening, a strengthening right now, strengthen their heart, heal them. So I ask Holy Spirit that you would pray for heart healing and strength. Father, I lift up those that are isolated right now. Those that are alone or they feel alone. Those that are being separated out. I just ask you to help them, Father. You know what they have need of. I ask, Father, that you would bring someone alongside of them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, I can look back on my own life and see where as I continue to persevere in prayer, as I continue to trust you, that eventually the season that I was currently enduring, it did end. Yes. And so, Father, I just ask for renewed hope that nothing, no... Uh, a challenge or a difficulty, nothing is forever. Amen. You make a way. You make a way, Father. And so we just ask, Father, for your intervening hand, for comfort, for for just your tender mercies, for your grace, for a great measure of love to fall upon the listener, that they would they would feel like just hanging on a little while longer persevering another day you said father the eyes not seen nor ears heard nor entered into the heart of man the things that you have prepared for those that love you Hallelujah. and so we we stand for that we believe father that your word is true and as sister amanda was testifying a little bit ago that she's believing you for the promises victory Yes, concerning things that you've spoken to her, Father. And the, though it hasn't come to completion now, you encourage us to continue to persevere and to press in for what it is that you have spoken over us and to us. And so, Father, we just stand with our brothers and sisters right now that also need just that reminder 
to continue on because you are faithful. So we thank you. I ask, Father, that you would send your angels on assignment, your angels to minister, your angels to bring comfort, your angels of protection, your angels of provision, your angels to bring alignment. And Father, we thank you, Father, that you are not finished. As long as we have breath, as long as we have another day, there's always more to do for your kingdom. And there's always more that you want to do within us, through us, and in our unique circumstances. So thank you, Father. Thank you for your great mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you that we have brothers and sisters that who will stand with us as we are currently enduring, currently persevering, and believing for the promises as, as we wait upon you, Father. So thank you for this time, Holy Spirit. And I ask you to pray for all these things and that everything that has been spoken, everything that has been prayed in this time of intercession, that it will transfer from the realm of the Spirit into the natural for those that are listening to the sound of our voice, those that have clicked on this video, not just for them, but for their loved ones as well. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, Yahushua's name, amen.